Hey everybody, so we're uh, in the middle of our 2023 hatching season right now and I've got a lot of really cool stuff hatching. I've got a lot of good videos planned to show you guys over the next few months. So um, right now for this, this, ep uh, this episode, I'm gonna show you some uh, triple recessives. Uh, as you know, um, producing like double, triple, quad recessives, that's kind of the main, the big rage in ball python breeding right now. We've kind of, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it was mostly about stacking as many uh, codoms or incomplete dominance onto each other. Now it's kind of transitioned into stacking as many different uh, recessives onto each other and sprinkling some codom genes in there to kind of um, you know, enhance a specific project. So um, a few years ago, I was lucky enough to, uh, I was trying to produce ultramelpides and I was lucky enough to accidentally hatch out a hypo ultramelpide. Um, I had hypo in the pairing for my, my very first clutch of ultramels years and years ago. And so all of my stuff, all of my ultramel projects, all have hypo sprinkled into it, including my ultramel pies. I didn't realize that at the time, but I thought I was breeding double hat to double hat. And I actually ended up breeding triple hat to triple hat. And I was lucky enough to hatch out a visual male hypo ultramel pied. That was several years ago already. So I've been using him as my primary breeder now and I've been able to produce quite a few more of them. So this, I got two clutches to show you here. The first clutch is from the father of my hypo ultramel pied. He is a hypo pied het, or sorry, an ultramel pied het hypo. And I bred him to a hypo that's a possible double het for ultramel pied. So I'll show you what I got out of this clutch. Okay, so here's a hypo, here's a hypo. And here's a hypo. So, like I said, the mother is a hypo and she's possible double het for ultramelpied. The father is an ultramelpied possible het, or 100% het hypo. So, got three hypos. So, because the father is an ultramelpied, these are all double het for ultramelpied. So, fairly, fairly uh, nice animals for future breeding group for sure. And then I got a pied. So I proved that female hypo to be 100% het pied, which is also very helpful in knowing what all the genetics are. And because the, because the mother of this one is a hypo and the father is a visual ultramel pied, he's 100%, he or she, I haven't even sexed them, is 100% double het for hypo and ultramel. And then I produced three ultramel, I'm sorry, three hypo pieds. I'm like screwing up on the names here today. So these guys are really getting squirmy here. But anyway, these three hypo pieds are 100% het ultramel because the father is a visual ultramel pied. So it's really nice with some of these pairings um, to, to uh, increase on the odds of the genetics that, uh, based on what male and female you breed together you know it's, it was really nice that all of these like the worst thing that could have hatched in this clutch is a hypo or i guess i could have hatched a normal that would have been triple head but um you know I, I i know the genetics for sure of all of these babies so that makes it really easy makes it easy to sell them for sure and also makes it easy to figure out which ones to hold back as well so that was that clutch now this clutch is getting on to the really good stuff. So this clutch was from my hypo ultramel pied bred to a triple hat. And we'll start with the most simple snake in the clutch. So that's obviously a normal. And because the father is a hypo ultramel pied, this one's 100% triple hat for hypo ultramel and pied. Then I have an ultramel here, and that one is 100% het for hypo and pied. Then I got a pied here, 100% double het for hypo and ultramel. And another one of those. Okay, then we have a hypo ultramel, and you can see the huge difference with these. Now, some uh, some 
hypo. Sometimes when you add hypo into Ultramel, it, it actually is kind of difficult to tell for sure what it, which ones are hypo and which ones aren't. Uh, this clutch is a high expression of hypo. You know, there's there's kind of different levels of quality with hypos, and some of them just look better than others. And this this particular clutch was really really easy to ID. Sometimes I have a really tough time with with some of these, but this clutch was very very easy to ID because the hypo is showing up so boldly. And here's another pied too. So this is a pied double hat hypo ultramel. Okay, and then. The last two, this is a visual hypo ultramel pied, and this is a visual hypo ultramel pied. So again, it was really, really easy to tell. Like I, I knew as soon as these guys hatched out of the egg that they had hypo in them. Obviously they're ultramel pieds, but you know, then the big question is, okay, do they have hypo in them or not? And the hypo gene is showing up so strongly in this clutch that it was really easy to tell best indicator is this head pad or the head color. Look at the head color of the the Ultramel versus the Ultramel or Hypo Ultramel Pieds and the Hypo Ultramel Het Pied too. So pretty pretty distinct differences and it makes it really really easy. So yeah I'm still working on you know this project pretty hard. Um, I've actually got several more clutches coming in. I've actually got a clutch hatching right now um, I think it's from a Ultramel Pied Head Hypo bred to a possible triple hat, so I don't know what's going to come out of that yet. They're, they're literally just pipping right now. But um, I'm also working on adding in some other genes into this. Uh, I, last year I produced a yellow belly version of this, which was really, really cool. Um, I'm also getting Black Pastel, Enchi, and um, what's the other one? Yellow Belly, Black Pastel, and Pinstripe into it this year as well. So hopefully I'll have some visual representations of all of those uh, in a future video. If I'm fortunate enough to hatch them. Okay, so if you want to see what I actually have available right now, make sure to go to my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I've got about 400 snakes on there. And then I just added another probably 50 snakes from 2023. Like I said, we're kind of just starting to really get rolling on the hatching season for 2023. so. Um, I've, I'll be put adding in new babies all the time. I actually still have some 2022s yet that I haven't even had a chance to post yet. So over the next few weeks, we're going to really try to hit that hard and get all those up on the website for you guys to see. And also make sure to check out my Patreon. Uh, you can go to patreon.com, just do a quick search for Royal Constrictor Designs. I show a ton of exclusive videos in Patreon, giving up breeding tips, genetic information, stuff like that. A lot of stuff that, that uh, um, you won't see on YouTube. But you also do get to see the YouTube videos uh, usually about a week before they end up online for the general public to see. Um, and also we have a weekly giveaway for 2023. We're giving away a ball python a week uh, for the entire year. And uh, most of it's some pretty nice stuff too. So uh, make sure to check that out. Um, all the members that we have so far seem to really like it a lot and getting a lot of good information. We also do a monthly Zoom call for the top tier of Patreon members. They get a monthly Zoom call with me, question and answer, uh, basically. Uh, so anyway, it's been really fun and, and I'm really happy to be able to do it. And uh, you guys should check that out and hopefully take part in it. I'll be back again very soon with another uh, video of some cool stuff to show you. I've got some nice stuff hatching now, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys soon.